Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is panels about uh, celebrating Adventure Time's legacy and um, just remembering it and uh, just discussing like the show in general. Um, I do have some notes here about uh, what I wanted to talk about. And but this person talking right now is Paleo Steno. Yeah, I'm, I'm Paleo Steno. Uh, I do like movie reviews and cartoons about stuff. And Says it right here. Ooh, we'll be auctioning off this wonderful <laughs> piece of paper. And my name is Saber Spark, and I'll yeah. be accompanying uh, Paleo here. Yeah, okay. and I actually got you to, to watch uh, Adventure Time. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. it's funny, because I do cartoons on YouTube and talk about that stuff, and Adventure Time was a show where I like got to a certain point like midway point, I'm like, okay, it's a little bit too weird and quirky and just off for me at this point. I'm done, and then I stopped watching. I know it was, it, it got much better, and uh, and also I think it, it, that was on me. That was my attitude going into it. And some shows I, you know, I, I had the same attitude with, but then you had a, a similar attitude as well. Yeah, because uh, it was. I think it was with a lot of people, and also just the the network in general that kind of stopped mm -hmm. like advertising it a bit, <laughs> and, and how uh, they switched their content over to live action. Yeah. On Cartoon Network. <laughs> yeah. Uh, destroy, yeah. build, destroy. Well, I don't, I don't mean that, because, like, Adventure Time is, like, one of the shows, along with regular show, that kind of saved it from that. True, true. Um, That's but true. I, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about when uh, they stopped sort of advertising a new episodes of Adventure Time. Um, so not a lot of people knew it was, like, still getting new episodes. Okay. Um, but they still, like, got more uh, new merchandise. Like, they, there's, like... There was like new games all the time. Even last year, there was a new game that came out. Well, you told me yeah. that Adventure Time is one of the few properties in Cartoon Network. Yeah, it's like Powerpuff Girls and Adventure Time has like the most merchandise out Which, of any show on Cartoon Network. When that happens for a network, they're like, "Yes, now we can make some real money." Because yeah, that, that's can, that's why Nickelodeon like plays SpongeBob so much. Yeah, well, because like because there are shows like Invader Zim and Rocco and Doug, where you know you watch it and it's good, but it's not very strong on the merchandise front. Then you got yeah, Disney, it, it's who's like laughs and waltz, and they make a million dollars a second with Mickey Mouse plushies. Nick, Nickelodeon relies a lot on nostalgia. Yes. Um, for for their merchandise. They do that as like yeah. Twitter advertising, as a matter of fact. Where it's like, remember Doug? And uh, <laughs> do you? Do they even like own Doug? No, anymore? no, because it because it, it went to Disney. Yeah. yeah it, it got like neutered by Disney. It was like, how would you make Doug even more boring? <laughs> No, I'm not saying the original was bad. It was just a very mellowed out show, but then they were made they made it even more so, which I'm like, how'd you do that? Yeah. So I want to talk about the uh, like the origin of Adventure Time. Go for it. Let's I, see I it. remember like seeing the uh, the pilot of it back in like 2007 when it came out. Yeah. Um, and I thought I was like, this is super weird and uh, like interesting. Because it was Frederator yeah. that yeah. worked on it. Oh shoot. Okay, so you talk about how Nickelodeon busted that one up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they 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 didn't take the pilot. Because, yeah, they, they thought it was too weird. Yeah, Nickelodeon <laughs> had a chance to take the show and, and air it on their channel, and they were like... And mm, I'm, I'm glad it didn't, because it probably... Twice they turned it down. I'm glad it didn't, because it probably would have only gotten two seasons. Yep. Yeah. Who made the show? Huh? Who made Adventure Time? Uh, Pendleton Ward. Okay, tell us a bit yeah. about him. So, yeah, he worked on um, Flapjack before, which a lot of, like, cartoonists uh, worked on Flapjack. Uh, like, J.G. Quintel, um, uh, Alex Hirsch worked on Flapjack. Mm -hmm. Uh, like <laughs> even some of the uh, pony writers yeah, that yeah, we yeah. know, yeah. It was so. a good like it, that happens a lot where you find a show that's like the breeding ground for future creators and where they can really sharpen their teeth. And you're like, oh, that's, whether the show's successful or not. In Flapjack's case, it was you know it's a good show. It just didn't blow up. It was like okay, that was a show. Moving on. Yeah, there there was only so much you could do with Flapjack in that setting. Where yeah. um, with Adventure Time, one thing I, I really love about it is the like the sandbox aspect, where like anything could happen in that that world of ooh. Well, you said it's a lot like a D and D campaign. Yeah, because like a lot of the writers are very inspired by D and D. They would What's they that? would they would talk about like stories that they would make up uh, with D and D and do it uh, and make it in Adventure Time. Because like even when they go into like dungeons and stuff, there's like monsters from D and D. Wasn't there a joke about like how like Finn didn't roll a die to like oh, he, he roll for it, <laughs> roll for initiative, something like, like that. There was like a die like rolling joke that was pretty good. I can't recall. I sound lame. Like I'm talking about. <laughs> or it was talking about Ice King. It was like, no, Ice King's evil. Or is he neutral? That, no, <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he chaotic neutral? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, then that's kind of cool to see. Like, because I just recently got into D and D, and I'm starting to see again, like the oh, I see the inspirations of what you're trying to do, and how this open world of like fantasy and a little bit of sci-fi all comes together 
and this quirky, weird nature, but while also, you know, it, it's appealing to the kids in that regard, but then you've got some serious, like, morals in the show where it's like, life and death and depression and growing up and having kids and putting things behind you and what lies ahead of you, and it's very mature yeah. for the audience that it airs to. Yeah, and one thing I, I was going to bring up about um, when uh, Cartoon Network wasn't really advertising uh, the, the show that much, um, it was also when I got out of the show uh, during season six, which I think a lot of people did because the popularity kind of like tanked for a bit. Yeah. Um, mm, check, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, I, it was kind of like the storyline with like Finn's dad and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, which looking back on it and rewatching it, I'm like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Um, I, I, some people would argue it is, but I, uh, I still really, really uh, like the show a, as a whole, mm. uh, though there are some episodes that I... I, get, I remember the episode that actually got me to stop watching it because I, I was just it. I was just angry at how dumb it was. What what happened? What, uh, what episode? It was the episode uh, uh, like chips and ice cream. That was that was the episode. Elaborate. Yeah, there was like these two weird like <laughs> these these weird like puppet things, but they they were like living and they were lived in the ears of this rabbit. Okay. It was it was so weird, and was I was like, this is. Almost too weird for me. And then I, I, I rewatched it recently. I was like, oh, maybe I was just being kind of like well, that weird kinda, about it. I, I relate. And I'm not sure if anybody else in the audience can relate, but like there was a certain kind of humor in the 2000s and late 2000s where it's like uber quirky weirdness for the sake of being out there kind of humor. And I kind of saw that with like Napoleon Dynamite and like I don't even say that's kind of yeah because because that was that wasn't a time where I was like more invested in in the uh, overarching story stuff that was going on in did, Adventure Time. Did you than, realize than, there was one going? Yeah, on? Yeah, I, I knew I knew there was one because that was with the the storyline with Finn's dad. Okay. Um, but but then I started to appreciate more the more like slice of life and the like humorous ones and ones that were like very experimental. Like one of my favorite episodes is from season seven, uh, Hall of Egress, where yeah. Where like what Finn, happens in that? Yeah, Finn, Finn goes into this uh, dungeon, and the only way to get through it is if, if he has his eyes closed. Okay. So he has to like try to find a way out, and then even if he gets out and it, the incorrect way, if he opens his eyes, he starts back at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, so because you know, Finn's the adventurer, always up for like going on a trip and seeing the monsters he can slay, and the. Again, very D and D inspired. Like, what's going to go happen today? Okay, well, here's our encounter. Uh, well, so Adventure Time yeah. ended with its finale. Yeah, it it did have a finale. They they did want more seasons, but uh, Cartoon Network said no. So the network so, said no. yeah. Okay. Hmm, um. But uh. Uh, it's not like the best finale, but I think in light yeah. of Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, is the best it's, finale. it's better than Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'm like I'm like maybe. Maybe it was pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> That's generous of you. Yeah, yeah, because like the entire season was like. Mm. Okay, we'll go back to Adventure Time. <laughs> yeah. But the uh, yeah, yeah the, uh, the the finale was like a TV movie, correct? Yeah, it was like a, a forty-four minute special. Okay, give us yeah. a rundown of that then. How did they? How so I, I I won't give it like anything away yeah, or no, anything. No, no spoilers. Case, oh, is, yeah. there, is there anybody in the audience who hasn't seen it yet? Well, well who yeah. in the audience are like the diehard Adventure Time fans? Okay, they're here. Who in the audience like you're just, just just showing up for fun? Not sure what we're talking about. Okay, yeah, we see you. What's up? What's up? Thank you for being here. All right, we'll talk about the finale just as as far as just touching on it. Yeah. So, yeah, there's there's like a few recurring antagonists in the show. Um, and then for the last season, they sort of had the antagonist of uh, Uncle Gumball, like a, a relative of um, um, Princess Bubblegum, but not really a re relative because she created them. It's Watch weird. The show. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. Um, but the finale, uh, yeah, they were facing like all the antagonists and, and trying to start this sort of war thing, but then it didn't really turn into a war. It was more like a, a force uh, versing the forces of evil, like Star. <laughs> and it, yeah, it was. They had some twists and turns here and there. Yeah, but I, I guess I think the main thing to take away is the show was completed. Yeah, like there was a finale that was satisfying. One thing I was um, disappointed that never happened was uh, the movie that was that they said, "Oh yeah, we're going to be making uh, an Adventure Time movie." When was that? When uh, in 2015 is when they announced it. Uh -huh. uh, I, d I doubt it. The show's over. Yeah. Um, 
I think it's derivative if they do it from this point yeah, on. Yeah, because because at that point they they announced that oh yeah we're going to be doing um like a straight uh straight to video thing for the regular show movie which which came out yeah um and then a theatrical movie for Adventure Time but that never happened um and uh I heard that um apparently they wanted to do a TV special for the um the Orgalorg uh, really? thing okay. with a uh, with like Gunter being Orgalorg <laughs> um but that that would just came into like the episodes. Yeah, so for, so, so this kind of gives a little bit of insight of what kind of show we're dealing with. So It's for, very weird. For those who <laughs> haven't seen Adventure Time, raise your hands. I want to see you. All right, raise your hands if you have not seen Adventure Time. On the surface, I mean, do you know the characters of Finn and Jake? Uh, the, what, what, when you see the show, what are your first impressions of the characters? Like, okay, you see some kid holding a sword and some yellow cartoony dog. What, what do you think? Like, this looks innocent enough, right? This looks cute, fun for the family. What can go wrong? There's a character that's like an ancient demon god of like before time, and then there's one called the Lich that like absorbs like the. His his sole purpose is destruction. Yeah, yeah. it's like again, it's like 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 Cthulhu the destruction of life stuff. Yeah, and again, it's like you walk into the show. It's like, oh, this is cute. Oh, let's put my kid in front of the TV. Mom, who's Cthulhu? <laughs> <laughs> but they don't say Cthulhu on the show. But still, like it, it's like the show's got some. Deep themes and and touches on it and yeah and and in a way where I don't like yeah kids will be lost in it sometimes <laughs> not to the point where it's well, what are you giggling no. at I was, I was looking at but also I was like uh, uh, discussing about like favorite characters and like yeah. I, Ice King is such a great character <laughs> yeah yeah. 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 I like, think he's actually yeah. more of a main like. Yeah, the <laughs> mention the thing about like. Uh, okay. YouTuber, okay. There was, huge a, there, was a, there was a meme that was posted on Twitter. It's pretty good. So as of late, there's been some YouTube drama. As of late, and, <laughs> and a common theme you see these YouTubers do is do apology like, videos. Apology video, and and there was a, a, a scene from Adventure Time that perfectly summarizes the attitude of these YouTuber. Like, I feel like I should pull up the video and show yeah, it. Like, hold tight. Talk to the audience. I'm going to find it, and I'm going to hold it up, and you can see And I'll hold it up the microphone, so you can yeah, hear yourself. But, right? yeah, the whole thing with Ice King and Simon is, like, tragic, but Ice King's also a really hilarious character. Fantastic. Tom Kinney, yeah. the guy who does yeah. SpongeBob, yeah. is the voice of Ice King. Did I say Tom Kinney? Is it the yeah, Tom Kinney. Okay. I thought, yeah. I thought that was like Kenny Rogers for a second. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking up on YouTube his Twitter video sucks. Yeah, but um <laughs> and there there's also the, that episode where where Ice King is just like roommates with Finn and Jake for a while and he, and and he just stays with them. It's like, "Oh, Ice King, uh, the Ice King has been rebuilt for a while. I was just staying with you guys." <laughs> oh yeah, they, they, he's got that big old like like coat and you think he's like kind of on like the larger side. Yeah, he, he fluctuates. His, well, he like yeah. he's, he's ripped. He like yeah. takes his jacket off and he's like shredded and it's like oh okay <laughs> never mind <laughs> like oh no I'm shredded man <laughs> oh no dude I'm, I'm ripped <laughs> here keep talking I, I, it's been right. uh, it's been high days <laughs> he's about their ice king moments because the uh, they're great oh yeah <laughs> when like um the lich takes over uh, Princess Bubblegum and she becomes a giant monster and then like she's frozen and then she like falls over and it cracks and the ice is like I didn't do it I didn't kill her this time. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's great. I can't uh, find it, but basically, you can't find it. it, it twi <laughs> that wasn't it either. <laughs> oh god, that's not it either. Okay, basically, Did the video is like Ice King crying from a camera. He's I like thought you tweeted it. Uh, did I tweet it? Did you retweet it? Maybe. Yeah. Hold on, guys. We'll take one more dip. I don't want to like get too off like by not focusing on the actual panel yeah. itself. I tried to. I couldn't find it, and I, but I don't. Here, I'll. I'll, I'll Dang it. Now it's a personal. Yeah, just, just, Dang just it. scroll. Now it's personal. <laughs> yeah, I did retweet it. There's a Godzilla post. There's a bad meme. Okay, we're almost there. Something about Game of Thrones sucking. Another Godzilla post. A picture of my dog. Oh, guys, it's so hey. It's like a 14 year old poodle. <laughs> His name's Lanny. He can't see. Yeah, yeah, he's still yeah. rocking. His 15th birthday is coming up. He is a champion. Oh, my God, where's the photo? <laughs> Video. Oh, guys. Yeah, it was recent. It was if like it's, very if recent. I don't find it in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to cry. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 7, 6. I can't find it. I can't find it. Keep, keep, keep scrolling. It's, Did it's you there. retweet it? I retweeted it too. Talk to the audience. You've got an itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Well, here's a question. What are some other like moments in the show that were like, 
not just funny, but actually meant something story-wise with a character arc or moral or a life lesson or something like that. Because we talked mm. about that before. Like yeah. a big part of the show that I was surprised that they talk about this is existential existential drama of like death of it, of you know of everything. Yeah, ending. like like one one uh, episode that's huge. That, <laughs> one episode that gets gets like really into it is a uh, astral plane where like Finn is like sort of like doing this weird dream thing. Um, this is like season six. And he's just talking about life and like what's like the greatest creation or whatever. What was the answer? Yeah. Was there one? I don't know. It was I my forgot. YouTube channel. <laughs> 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 it's awful. It's garbage. Um, well, uh, what did Pendleton Ward move off to afterwards? What, you, what is he? What's he doing? Um, uh, he did Bravest Warriors for a little bit, uh, but I think somebody else is helming that right now. That's um, by Fred Ritter as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's on Verve now. Um, which it changed animation styles, and I was like, it kind of took me by surprise. Yeah. Which Rick and Morty's got a season coming out here later this year, yeah. as a matter of fact. So there's that. Season yeah, they, they renewed it for like a ridiculous amount of epi episodes or something. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, they like renewed it for like 80 episodes <laughs> or something like that. I think what happened is the video itself got taken down. Oh, well, well, we can describe it. <sighs> yeah, sorry. We'll yeah. But basically, it's Ice King. He's, like, going through this transformation. He's talking on the camera, and he's, like, apologizing in the camera. Because, again, it's, like, YouTuber apology videos. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that really yeah. is how it is. Where these YouTubers hand Okay, up. bye. Because <laughs> yeah, they're like, <laughs> But don't forget to subscribe, you know, like, comment. See you all next time. Bro fist, whatever. That's how it goes. All right. The video is right. better, though. So yeah, um, one thing I did want to discuss uh, uh, before we have like questions from people um, is, uh, do you think a reboot is inevitable? I hope not, actually. I'll leave it alone. I think it's a show where on its own it's perfect and no one can really give it justice. I mean, Powerpuff Girls got a reboot. And, and it, was, it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so I that, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like Adventure Time's the other Cartoon Network show that has gives them the most merchandise. I mean, at the end of the day, these are companies, and they're not going to look at it as usually as in like, oh, can we preserve the art and do it justice usually? They're going to go, can we make some god dang money? And that will probably – so, yeah, I wouldn't put it out of the realm of, of possibility. I hope not, though. Yeah. And if they do, I hope they bring back – like it's it's one of those it's the same with the Disney remakes where it's like how can you make this ju how can you justify this outside of money yeah and usually it's like we can't so we'll see rarely do they actually improve stuff but when they do I mean there are exceptions but oh my god stop all right but uh, I don't know well I but what do you think do you think they're gonna do it maybe like ten years down the line or something or like fifteen years like after it's been gone for a, a long time. Because, yeah. like, when, when did, let's see, the Powerpuff Girls re re reboot came out in uh, 2016. Uh, the last Powerpuff Girls episode was, like, 2005, I think. I think that's when it was. That was, like... Which, that one kind of, I wouldn't say fizzled out, but it, it was not, yeah. like, really an Yeah, because the last two seasons weren't quite as good as the first four. That also happened with Dexter. I don't yeah. know. That just, just kind of fizzled out. Ah, yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you guys have any, like, questions that... You want to ask? It's a Q&A, Mike. You're yeah. welcome to stand up to it. We'll, we'll definitely hit every single person up. And even if it's something like eventually that's off topic from Adventure Time, we'll still answer it. Uh, any questions about cartoons or YouTube or how to mortgage your house, you know, please <laughs> let us know. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. Um, so you kind of talked about the, c the series finale for a little bit, and you said that it didn't exactly hit the mark. So my question is... Uh, what storylines with all of the like recurring characters do you think they didn't touch upon in Come Along With Me? Uh, I was personally disappointed, never under never understanding who Marceline's mom was. Oh, so yeah. I, I would have loved an episode about that. That should have been its yeah. own standalone episode. Yeah. yeah. Or series, perhaps. But yeah. other than that, is there anything that you thought they didn't really touch upon in that last episode? <laughs> it, it was too much. The, too the, last, the last Fiona and Cake episode um, had this really weird thing where... <laughs> Like the Ice King's thoughts were being projected as like this like uh, like TV signal where <laughs> and this uh, this rabbit that was pretending to be Fiona was like oh yeah it's just an old cartoon show that used to air and I was like so are Fiona and Cake like real inside of Ice King's mind and they can like escape escape or something it was huh. weird I mean because there, there are some things where like I I believe in with like shows and movies, you don't have to explain everything. Sometimes you just leave it to mystery. 
like a big part of why I love Mad Max Fury Road, is it's just kind of throw you into it. You don't need to know too much about what's going on. You kind of just pick it up as you go along with the ride, which is part of the experience. It's a very kinetic movie that way. For Adventure Time Finale, though, that's a conclusion. It's wrapping things up, and it's a long series. I, I think the 45 minutes wasn't enough. I would have yeah, preferred it as I a movie. I would have preferred an hour, an hour or an hour and a half or yeah, something. Yeah, because I thought, like, Finn in particular, kind of like, hey, you sit over here. We're going to talk about, like, ice Yeah, because Finn wasn't in it that much. He, well, he, yeah. he didn't have much of a bearing on the plot as much as, yeah. as a, for a main character whose name is in the title of the, of the show. Like, he didn't really do too much. Which it's fine, because I, I get that Ice King and Betty and things like that. And yeah. I, it, Mm, how do you say his name? The red guy with who's like Satan. Golb. Golb. Yeah, 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 yeah. So not Satan, but like <laughs> basically. <laughs> well, no, I mean, well, Satan's more like, hey, I got a plan. Versus this guy who's like, yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. just exist. I'm yeah, he's just chaos. So, yeah. I mean, is there anything you feel like? Because uh, I do like, like, not to avoid spoilers, I do like how they kind of had like a, here's where it ended, a thousand years from now, here's what's going on. Yeah, and like Finn always have the, has the reincarnations. Yeah. So. Yeah. The show does a good job with its continuity as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I appreciate yeah. that they don't forget things. They're like, oh, good job. You did your homework. <laughs> so, I mean, is there anything in particular that you feel? Oh, <laughs> there was a scene that killed me where there was, like, an explosion, and they had that worm going, mm, mm, check, check, please. please. <laughs> Which was like, I'm like, yep, nah, this show, it, it, it holds up. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hello. Is that Rudy from Chalk Zone on your shirt? No, it's my logo. I like your logo. <laughs> it's a good you. one. Thank you. And I like your videos. Thank um, you. So as a casual Adventure Time viewer, um, I haven't really watched it past, I think, season three. But um, every time I watched it, I was always fascinated with all these characters and just how massive this world is. So do you think, and when you walk around, you don't see people just cosplaying as the main characters. They cosplay as side characters, villains. Yeah, just Princess Bogum, Marceline. Yeah. yeah. So do you think um, Adventure Time owes a lot of its success to just this massive world it created and all these? I, I think so. Yes, because like the the sandbox nature of it is like you know very, since it is D and D inspired, it's like oh yeah, we can go on like any kind of adventure that we want in this world. So that's what I really uh, appealed to, uh, gave its appeal to me was when when I first saw when I first saw the uh, the pilot for it, I was like oh yeah, this is gonna be a great cartoon. But I never expected it to be like as big as it was for the network. So. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Are we good? He was in front of me. It's all good. If you don't have one for now, it's fine. If you want to sit down, just chill. Or if you have one later, you can always get back in line. Do your thing. We'll talk to you later. Hey, what's up? Hi. Um, so, sorry, my voice is kind of gone right now after. It's you sound like days. Buttercup from Powerpuff Girls a bit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. That's a compliment. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Um, I think something a character is not talked about enough is the cosmic owl. Mm. And the oh whole yeah. And the whole episode with him finding a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it was Gunter like dreaming. <laughs> Wasn't it was there so also, weird. They, were they like hanging out in a hot tub at the same time? Yeah, with Prismo. Yeah, Prismo. Yeah. I love it. The, again. Oh my yeah, Prismo's, Prismo's great. great. You know, this, with his Pris Does anybody watch Binging with Babish? Yeah. He did one where they like, made like Prismo's pickles or whatever, which he like apparently nailed it and made these fantastic like garlicky pickles. <laughs> but yeah, they're like these cosmic entities that control time and space. And they're like, hey, let's go hit up the hot tub. I love it. Yeah. Well. But uh, yeah, for the cosmic owl though, I mean, what what did he control? Yeah, like he was he he was like a wishmaster. Okay. So, like, he, he granted wishes, but it was like a monkey paw. Didn't wish. he also because like he, he said like monkey's paw at, after like Jake wished that thing. But yeah, 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 that's no, why Jake Jake, Jake, Jake wished for always wishes for a sandwich. Yeah, whenever Jake has a wish for anything. It's Wait, was I thought I thought Prisma was the wish master. Wait, no, Prisma was the yeah Prisma. Co cosmic the cosmic, cosmic owl. owl wasn't the wish master. What is yeah, yeah. What is I, I'm, I'm saying Prisma was a wish oh, master. Okay, okay. Yeah. You said cosmic owl. What, what is cosmic owl exactly? I forget. Wasn't he like he, he goes into dreams? He goes into dreams and whatever happens to those dreams come true. Oh, yeah. okay. I forgot about that. There's a lot yeah. in the show, and you can, it's easy for to forget, <laughs> yeah. as you can see from me. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like when they brought up the cosmic owl, it seemed like he was gonna be like a, a big thing, and then he was like, uh -uh. and later they were like, oh, he has a girlfriend now. We're not gonna talk about him for another couple seasons. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> who is this dude? It's weird how shows do that. Times where they hand at something big, and oh. I mean, I bring it back to Game of Thrones, where they talk about like the prince who was promised, or Zora High, or however you say that name. Yeah. And it's like, oh, cool. We're not going to talk yeah, about but, that. But, but in like, that oh, episode, <laughs> in that episode, it was a, it was a premonition for uh, Orgalord. Okay. because like oh, yeah. he went into Gunter's dream and like like 
they went into Princess Bubblegum's dream, and it was like how how they could take over. Oh, that's the, right. That's yeah, right. That's the, right. Get the get the rocket get the rocket ship to go. Oh up. shoot! Yeah. Talking. <laughs> My favorite character is Tree Trunks. Oh yeah. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> that girl can get it. There was. A, a, I love the episode. I love. Oh my god! Again, it's a kids show, and she's been through like four, <laughs> oh, yeah. four husbands. <laughs> and there was like an episode where she got married, Mr. Pig, and the episode starts off with oh, her going, oh, yeah. "I want a divorce." <laughs> yeah, you know, I was like, "I want a divorce," and there's a knock at the door, and then there's Sweet Pea there, the baby. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, this, this changes is- everything." <laughs> So it's great that you know, you see them get married an episode before, and then the next episode, I want a divorce, and it's yeah. like, and also there's an episode. Oh where yeah, your your her space husband. Yeah, she's like yeah. dating a bunch of aliens, and at the end of the episode, you have the alien in her room. She's in the bed with Mr. Pig, her husband, and the alien's talking to her, Tree Trunks, and then Mr. Pig wakes up, and Tree Trunks is like, "Oh, Mr. Pig, this is my space husband," and they hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she's uh. She can get it. <laughs> she also got captured by like crystal warriors that one time. Was that the crystal people? Oh yeah, yeah. She yeah. Got yeah. Over by crystal them. dimension. Or how about when she like she hates Princess Bubblegum, and she made like a yeah. pro- a protest sign in glue, and she dumps the glitter, and she goes, <laughs> sorry, and then it said fascist <laughs> in the glitter. <laughs> so yeah, again, the show knows itself. Yeah. Also, one more question. Yeah. The the Grables. Uh, oh, the Grables. Like, yeah. Right. Well, y'all's thoughts on those. There was a do few people like not like those? We did, but I feel some people thought they were like maybe like. Do you have a rundown for folks who don't know about the Grables? Yeah. What are they? Yeah, Grables, Grables are basically like like little short stories in the show mm-hmm. that go throughout the uh, the kingdom, um, or the land of Ooh. And who's uh, telling them who is that guy? Yeah. Oh, he's he's a thousand years in the future. Yeah. 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 It's like you yeah. get this narrator who's telling stories about like these the stories that happen in in the land of Ooh, like you said. Yeah. And you see like a visions of the future of like what's going to happen. And, and we there's actually themes in yeah, the episode. and we actually like see um, like that future in the finale. So yeah, um, but Continuity. yeah, there, there's themes in the episode. There was like a, a theme where it's like you thought it was going to be like taste, Assist, but but th- but then it's like oh no, it's your fingers. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, they they had us good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going. Yeah, this is a bit of a spoiler question. No spoilers as far as, like, con- okay. context with the show, if, if that's cool. Oh, yeah. I just want to talk about uh, Princess Bubblegum and Marceline being a couple. Okay, that's a spoiler. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I mean, that, that was kind of implied for yeah, a long time. Okay, so for those yeah. that don't know. Yeah, it really was implied. I guess. Yeah. I guess at a certain point, Thanos got married to Dark Side. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, go ahead. Yeah, now, now it's like LGBT cartoons. What are your thoughts on it? It's cool. It's good representation. Yeah. Yeah, and like even even like rewatching the show, you can see like certain moments. Even in season one, actually, with the the episode Henchmen, where like Marceline's like uh, says hi to Finn and Marceline because it seems like they had some history together. Yeah. Uh, Whereas th- where she's like hi Finn, hi Marceline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so they so have a history together. All I ask for is good writing, and those two have had it from the very start. They you see their relationship, and like you see, it's implied they had something. They have mixed feelings, and then you see it can come full circle, and they are together. And that's cool. Again, good writing. That's all I ask for. Yeah, no, it's false. Don't it's pander. Like, Just give me some good writing. Not like Fortran season seven or eight. What's that? I mean, Fortran, the last two seasons, mm-hmm. the Legend Defender, where they kind of kind of implied that. Oh, I yeah, Jax would know about yeah, that. Yeah, she was gay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. What's up? Hello. Yeah. Hi. Anyway, um, remember what you guys were talking about the, like, them remaking it in a couple years at the yeah. very end of uh the finale well not the very end they were at the beginning too but the mouse and that oh yeah uh, Shermie movie. and uh what's the other one's name Shelby no, no, no. Shelby's the worm Shelby's the worm Shermie and I don't remember that one what was the other one's name the, I can't recall I'm John really Blaine. yeah who cares <laughs> but like I used to like they can make a detail you know, like a lot of franchises, at the very end of the movie or show, like they give like new characters or a new scene to push, uh, like a new spinoff or whatever for those characters. You guys think that in like a couple of years they would use those characters uh, for? A I'm or I'm or not anything? sure. I doubt it. Yeah, I I, I do doubt it because like th- those would only be recognizable to the the, the hardcore fans, fans, yeah, hardcore, hardcore fans. But but okay. they they could make it its own thing. But um, it would be interesting to see like that future that they're in. Uh, but I, th- I think like 
the Fender character. Jake are too recognizable as for branding and merchandising. Because yeah. I guarantee some executive from Cartoon Network is going to go, <clears throat> no, we want to keep the dog and the kid because people can see that and go, oh, it's that one cartoon. I like that. Versus, hey, what's this a spin off? Is this a rip off? It, it's, again, it's money. But uh, I, maybe the show could touch on it. No, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. They might, might not even do one at all. So we'll see. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My question's more of a statement than a question. Fire but away. just sort of referring to what you guys said earlier about how you doubt Adventure Time will come back anytime soon, I think more what is a testament to that is the dumbification of children's cartoons over the years. I mean, at least I disagree, up, but go ahead, continue. Disagree. I mean, children's cartoons, not cartoons that are specifically made for mid teens to adults. I'm talking like Teen Titans Go and stuff. That's meant for children. Uh, I disagree. You you watch Teen Titans Go? Yeah. You do? Okay, well, I can't hark you if you like I mean, I mean, I, I'm having to go at you, by the way. I just think that, like, there are definitely some dumb shows. But at the same time, I, like, Teen Titans Go had a slow burn for me. At first, I'm like, yeah, screw this. But I realized my my dislike for Teen Titans Go was how much it was being aired and how it's being shoved down your throat. Yeah. And then I, I, I paced it and watched it on my own time online. I'm like, okay, there's some pretty smart humor here. I don't love all the fart and butt jokes because I'm just like, it's kind of crass. Kids yeah. love it. But then there's some smart like the movie we watched. Yeah, I like the movie. The movie was smart. There's a scene, there's a scene where they're like they save Batman's parents to prevent him from being becoming a hero. Oh yeah. Then they realize they screwed up the timeline, and then their montage to recorrect it, you see them push his parents into the alleyway <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and see a bunch of gunfire, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> they murder his parents. They yeah. murder his parents. So I think that show's gotten better, honestly. Um, I didn't dislike it at first either, but that's aside from the point, I guess. It's just like I found a lot of shows as of recently have been going more towards crass humor. That's fair. Particularly on Nickelodeon, if that's my own opinion. But I think eventually these things will come back because I remember being a kid, and at least maybe this is my own bias, but I remember a lot of shows had some hidden themes mm -hmm. that really sort of help you with who you are. I mean, if you watch like TV that much as a kid, that really develops your mind when you have a lot to think about, when it's just... <laughs> Haha, <laughs> guess I gotta go to bed and I have nothing on my mind at that point, nothing to think about. It's weird because like, I, I was been doing a lot of research about like networks and how they develop content. Because like kid content in particular is like the redheaded stepchild in the entertainment business. And it's interesting because back in the 90s, they were like, yeah, pff, you know, let the men do sports and yeah, give the women kids entertainment. And that's why Nickelodeon got like a really awesome team of like these ladies who are like, well, screw it, we're gonna make this awesome and we're gonna have like creator-driven shows with like Rugrats and Ren Stimpy and Doug and see what yeah. we can do with this stuff. And uh, I forget her name. Oh, I think it's like blah, 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 something. I, I forget. I'm going to do a video about this soon. But there was a lady who was like basically like in charge of like as the president or the CEO of Nickelodeon like programming and she just destroyed it. And like, in, the, in the sense of like just crushing it with good shows that made Nick Tunes and put Nickelodeon on the map. So, like, there are shows with people who go, no, it's going to be more than just fart jokes. Yeah. Some will get under the radar. Some shows will do it. You know, kids will see if Because I, I have some nieces, and I'll watch them watch Minions, and you'll be yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do hear one argument about uh, the quality of Adventure Time, when, especially when it was going on, mm -hmm. is that, oh, it uses, like, gross-out humor too much. But compared to, like, a lot of the cartoons I, I see now, I'm like, no, it don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, even, even jump. What's that? Fanboy and Chum Chum. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, like, and even Rugrats is guilty of some, you know, well, not some, a lot of poo-poo, but, you know, humor. What you were saying earlier about how Nickelodeon turned down Adventure Time, they turned it down in favor of Fanboy and Chum Chum. Yeah. They took Fanboy and Chum Chum. It was a decision to take that show over Adventure Time. It's, it's weird, because Fanboy and Chum Chum, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I want to go back and rewatch it, because I, I, I feel like... It's that mindset you go into, and I, I don't think Fanboy Chum Chum is. No, Chum I watched Chum it as a kid, and I, I was I was all open ears for that. It looked kind of good, but man, I feel old. When I was a kid, ugh. <laughs> I mean, I'm 19, so well, I was like 13 when it came out. I think. Uh, here's a funny story. So my buddy, like, we went to do. This is kind of off, like talking about, I guess, growing up quickly. We went to the trampoline park uh, during New Year's about two years ago, and we went to this little section of the trampoline so you can play dodgeball. And there were some kids playing in there, like you know, 12 year olds, eight year olds, whatever. And we were like, hey, can we get in there and play? And they go, well, how about this? You all, it's us kids versus you, the parents. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, God, it's happening. So, uh, yeah, we all get older, I suppose. But no, I mean, I, I hear you. I hear you. Good point. Um, thank you. By the way, remember when uh, Gumball blew up a lemon and lemon grab? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
unmake me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, all right. So you know the last episode where Ooh got split up into the four different sections with with the elements. Oh, elements. That yeah. was a great series. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, whenever I was going through and watching how each section was played out, watching how the characters reacted with whatever happened, my mind was going, all right, these seem like mental issues because I'm edgy. <laughs> like, like depression, codependency, et cetera, et cetera. I want to know what your opinions on that is and if I'm just being an edgy little kid. No, that, that seems like a... What's they're trying to represent there? Really? Yeah. I, mean, I, I feel now. I feel like I'm like, I'm like uh, yeah. There are deeper things. I yeah, because totally like with, with the Fire Kingdom, like it got like super super angry. So yeah, and maybe like yeah. I don't know. I, now I feel like I need to rewatch it and see what that lens on. Um, maybe I wouldn't put it past again. I mentioned there's a show where they do that. They talk about mental illness as well. Like wasn't there an episode where Finn was just like, I'm done adventuring. I'm tired. I just I'm, I'm depressed. I can't do it. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to call which one that was. I also want to make sure I'm not fabric. Was, was he something. depressed about like uh, bubblegum or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Or, or he got ditched by bubblegum and like they were trying to rebound him. And he's like, I don't feel like adventuring anymore. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, yeah that's because right. he, he was like tired of being like recognized all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think there could be some validity to what you're saying. I need a person to go back and rewatch it. But uh, cool point. I make something to think about. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, I actually haven't really watched a whole lot of Adventure Time, but the reason I didn't watch it all the way through, because I love cartoons, mm -hmm. and I only got through like part of season one, and the reason I couldn't stick with it is because... Oh. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry again. Because of the constant fluctuation between really plot-driven episodes and really not plot-driven yeah, yeah, yeah. episodes. Um, and that... I think is why they couldn't grab a wider audience and like keep it going. Yeah, I mean, it was one of the most popular Cartoon Network shows for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it, and tor but towards the end, like, well, they did stop advertising it. Which yeah, but cool. towards the end, they started doing mostly like plot vid driven. So yeah. it, it was a lot of shows kind of happened like the late two, in, like 2010, 11, 12, and 13, where you start seeing things like Steven Universe, where it's like, <laughs> see, this is a problem nowadays. I see these cutie shows that start up like, oh, there's a cute characters and a little, little entourage of, of side characters. And I'm like, I'm waiting to die here in five seasons where they're like, talking about the depression and the end of the universe or something. Like, yeah. this happens with shows nowadays, which is like, you know, Gravity Falls has a little bit of a story. Well, not a bit. It has a storyline with mm -hmm. its a bit ser uh, more serious themes or whatever. But like yeah, Star versus Star versus Star uh, regular show. Uh, that's all. That's it. There's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, I guess like looking back at it, what do you think? Because like I know it tur it turned off some other viewers. Because when I've talked to people about it, they're like, yeah, that's why I didn't watch it either. Um, do you think that there's something? that could have been changed or a different way that it could have been presented? Because I think for a lot of people, it was presented as LOL, so random, mm -hmm. raw XD, like, woo, <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> woo. Um, um, but the plot was really interesting, and I feel like a lot of people missed it. I think Slice of Life is easier to get into because it's not as like, because like, if you miss episode one, then you're already lost in episode two. So I think they kind of like started to pepper in some like world building, some overall The, the thing is like, if, you, if, you, if you're not attached to the characters and don't care about like them in, in a, as like people themselves, mm -hmm. like, because with the Adventure Time characters, they're the characters I just want to like hang out with. Mm -hmm. Well, characters yeah. are the, like, can we argue that characters are like the most important part of a show? Oh yeah, yeah. Like oh, the Office, they were saying like the reason why people loved it so much is the it's a character it's, mm -hmm. it's a character driven show. Everything yeah. about it falls and dies in the characters. Mm -hmm. So like I guess the, the slice of life stuff for Adventure Time early on to get you hooked on yeah. the characters, what how you know what makes them tick, what what do they like, things like mm -hmm. that. And then they started doing like hey let's get some world building, some st overall or overarching plots yeah. I suppose. But they teach their own. Some folks, I mean, again, like I turned off to it after a few seasons, but then I returned to it. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to rewatch it because of this panel. Nice. Awesome. So. Yeah, thank you for the question. Cool. Hello again. Hey, I have a lot to say about Adventure Time. Let's hear it. Okay, so I actually I have two like questions uh, for you. 18 minutes left, I believe. So okay, we're cool. These are just okay. what's your favorite thing, so okay, it's fine. Let's hear it. First one, um, what's your favorite alternate dimension where Finn loses his arm? Because it's like Ooh. pretty obvious that that's 
a constant theme. It's like faded for him. Yeah. And I'm like rewatching that, re- uh, rewatching it now. And the first one that I noticed where Finn actually loses his arm is in Pooey, where he like turns into a pillow person. Oh yeah. That's also the first time oh. you see the crazy oh, gold. glob, yeah, like gold. Which gold. is there? Like, Which is not tried. glob, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Glob has four faces, you know, related to yeah. Magic Man. Glob Different. is dead. Um, <laughs> I thought the glob was um, he was like <laughs> in sat- uh, orbiting something yeah he was like orbiting uh, yeah and like magic man is his brother it's so weird it's yeah. weird <laughs> yeah like Mars has a civilization and Abraham that's Lincoln another, is that, like that's another character president. that's like that's another character that went through a certain arc like magic man like worked with Betty and then they switched like hats well <laughs> so I remember when magic man like did something and he's like why'd you do this cause I'm a jerk and just disappears <laughs> yeah. but uh I get, there's like one where Finn is just like, a normal little boy um, like in a, in a world where he's in just... In the human. Uh, yeah. Farm world. Yeah, oh, yeah, farm world. So I, I like that because yeah. it's kind of cool to see because like, you get these the contrast of like, ooh, and then like what is basically closer to our timeline of Earth. Yeah. There, there is a, uh, a certain um, episode, uh, I think it was the finale of um, like the, the two-parter in um, season two where Finn in the beginning, he's imagining like what he wants to be and he has like a, a metal he's arm. Like, yeah, yeah, he's really like so big. buff. And he, they, they actually uh, use that in the comics. That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 So wasn't there a moment where like Finn was like inside Jake and Jake transformed? Oh yeah, the Jake suit. No, no, but there's one where like he, like morphed and oh, yeah. and then Finn just like. Oh yeah, like goes. like Jake went over him to make a car. He's like, Mrawr. and Finn's like, oh, uh-huh. <laughs> like 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 disturbed from it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um. Oh yeah, the pillow, the pillow people. Pillow. Okay. I, yeah, oh, yeah, I thought they totally like wrapped that up really well. Continuity. Mm-hmm. Um. Second question though. Who do you think is the most powerful being in Ooh? Because there's like Glob, who you know you say like, oh yeah. my Glob, you think that's oh my God, the most yeah. powerful person in the world, but then you know Glob dies, and then there's the big red thing at the end. I always forget yeah, it's Golb, Golb, yeah. and then yeah. you know the Lich and Princess Bubblegum's got all these crazy powers. Like, who do you think is the most powerful person in Ooh? Uh, I mean, Golb almost seems like he's just well, like if you sing, Marceline. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, but like. I, I see Gulp as like a Chuskus. Marceline's dad. Chuskus. Not yeah. Chuskus. <laughs> I'm the most powerful being. <laughs> I am the Alpha and the Omega uh, or whatever. Remember he like tried to make a rhyme and he yeah, couldn't he's get Yeah, like, he's like, uh. I'll forget it. <laughs> um, so I, I'd say Gulp because he almost comes across or it comes across as like this entity that's always has, always will, just it just is. Yeah. And I, I dig that because it usually it's like Superman or something like that or. Or just an almighty villain. It's like it just is, mm-hmm. and I like yeah. that. It doesn't okay. seem like it really has much of an agenda. It just it just is. Yeah. So and outside of that, though, Magic Man or Betty now, yeah, like, that's powerful and being able to like teleport and mess with people to that degree. Yeah. Prismo, Prismo. Prismo. yeah, yeah Prismo. Yeah. yeah, though he's kind of stuck in that one place. Didn't Pris- Prismo pulled off this move where like, he brought himself back to life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That episode was. Hard to follow. <laughs> like, I was like, I didn't watch this again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, you're right. It was. Cool, cool. Awesome. Thanks, Thank guys. You. All right. Uh, what I'm about to ask you guys is uh, somewhat of a f- serious question. Fire away. And uh, kind of complex. So I need everyone to please uh, not say anything until I'm done asking it. And I really, really don't want anyone uh, booing me here because what I'm about to ask is. Well, again, kind of serious. So, is it appropriate though, just to make sure? Uh, oh, because they'll cut you off if it's not appropriate. I'm just letting you know, fair. Well, I'll, 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 uh, I'll uh, edit a bit. Okay. All right. Okay. For this decade, the 2010s, I really think the one, the original Cartoon Network shows originally made ones. Uh, nothing DC related or anything like that. Uh, I think they have got to be Adventure Time, regular show, Steven Universe, and I suppose, admittedly, the amazing world of Gumball. Uh, not that much of a fan of that last one, but I can definitely tell it has its moments. My favorite episode being the game. Okay. But uh, uh, which. Uh, that's basically the 2010 Cartoon Network Quartet. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a bit of a play on words. <laughs> it, it's catchy. But uh, 
What uh, what fifth originally made Cartoon Network show would you say, uh, here in the 2010s, I mean, uh, would make that quartet a pentagon uh, over the garden wall uh, excluded? Because mm. honestly, that, series, yeah. Dang. That, yeah, that one is way too short for its own good. It's emotionally powerful, of course, and very amazing, but still. Yeah. So a fifth, I'd say OKKO. OK Oh, yes. Yeah. That, one, that one had a, a nice, something new. To, uh, I see a cosplay. I mean, I, the Cartoon Network store downstairs has Wee Bear Bears out in yeah, front. Wee Bear Bears. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, which one would you say uh, between those two? I, uh, oh, uh, I thought you meant the bears. Um, no, no, no. The, the bears are cool, but between those two shows, which? Ice Bear is very cool. Ice um, Bear is cool. <laughs> I'd say <laughs> I'd probably pick OKKO for being a lot. I mean, of course, all these shows have their inspiration. But I, I like the universe of OKKO and what they've got going on. You see so much like anime, like influence, and it, it, it's good. I, I think that I have to give it. Though, like I have to say, also, We Bear Bears is like one of the most pleasant, most like comfortable. It's, it's comfy. Shows. Yeah, you can just sit there. Yeah. And be like, oh, this would be a nice to watch. Peanut jelly. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. Actually. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, re and that's good because honestly, I was kind of expecting you guys to say something like Clarence. I mean, I that's actually, think Clarence. In defense of Clarence, I think it actually is misunderstood. I, I, again, that one is another show that's a bit heavy on the poo poo pee pee humor. It's not <laughs> hard. Wow. But I, I appreciate that that show, I mean, you see his his parents, you know, his mom, and then his mom's boyfriend. That's kind of cool for representation because, I mean, I come from a divorced family and Aww. seeing how, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm good. And you see <laughs> how, uh, you, you see how, like, Clarence's mom's boyfriend and him click in, in, that, in like, this kid realm of, of like, kid. Uh, oh, shoot, have you seen. Um, Sorry, segue. Uh, Craig of the Creek? I haven't watched it yet. Ah, okay, uh, yes. We, we need to marathon that, you and I. But yeah. yeah, there's some good stuff out there. I like this decade. It was a good decade. All right, I'm good. getting old. I'm old, Gandalf. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm about to be 29 and a half years old, believe it or not. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm right ahead of you, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're welcome both. to the big three oak. Yeah, we're, we're both 30. We're, we're essentially on death's door, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is an over-exaggeration, though, right? I know. Thank you, youngster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your question. No problem. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. What's up? We've got 10 minutes left, by the way. All so right. So uh, this is a controversial but appropriate one. Okay. And it's not exactly Adventure Time, but Cartoon Network. All right. You guys remember those live action Cartoon Network TV shows? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. So um, what are your opinions on it? And would you like more of them? I've met Andrew WK. Yeah, it was so weird. Yeah, we all did. So Andrew WK is like a rock star, and he did a show called like uh, Destroy Bill Destroy. Destroy Bill yeah, Destroy. It, it was kind of this weird trend. I think the Cartoon Network shows they were like trying to copy like I think like things like MythBusters to a degree, where it's like let's just go outside and blow. Dude, what would we, happen? Dude, what would happen if we <laughs> turned rocks into cell phones? <laughs> and it was really <laughs> they did that where they were like. <laughs> So, yeah, but, like, I mean, one sec. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fair. But, like, I, I think they were just testing things out because live-action shows like that are a heck of a lot cheaper and quicker to make. They failed. <laughs> Why? It's Cartoon Network. Why would you put that on Cartoon Network? So, um, and it was weird because that was kind of, like, the, the little low point before. It's like, okay. Be before, like, the renaissance. Yeah, Adventure yeah. Time and regular show and Steven Universe and things like that. They go, hey, get back up here. So, um, the shows aren't terrible, but when you, in relative to, like, the sh what they had and what they mm -hmm. currently have, it's like, yo, that was definitely a low point. Okay. Because yeah. the cartoons weren't that great either at the time, in my opinion. Like, I mean, it yeah. Chowder. Chowder okay. is Chowder and Flapjack, and that was it. Chowder and <laughs> Flapjack. I mean, my gym partner's a mon monkey. You know what I'm What's that? I know the guy who wrote on that show, M.A. Larson, he's an idiot. I hate him. <laughs> I can say that because I, I love him. Love you, Mitch. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see him soon. We'll see him at uh, a convention in Minneapolis, as a matter so, of fact. So, like, would you want them to come back if nope. they were, like, better writers? <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. No. Maybe if they put them on their website or something where it doesn't really infringe. But, you know, I hope that Cartoon Network keeps pushing on the streaming stuff. I want to keep – yeah. I, I'm done with TV, man. Give, give, the TV's been dead for years. I'm sorry. It's it's Dis and Disney Plus is the nail in the coffin. All these other companies are jumping ship right now. They're gonna get. Shows are dying because everybody's streaming it illegally online. Yep. Oh. Pirating is gonna get a lot worse here soon. What's up? All right. Uh, what do you guys What do you guys feel about how How do you guys feel about um PB and Marceline's relationship? 
because a lot of my friends after the finale, they said the only reason they put them together was because of the shipping online, the fan fiction, <laughs> yeah, like that. I disagree. Again, there. Th- this is a show that had the writing was on the wall throughout the different seasons. Where even from yeah, season there, there's there's a scene where Marceline like has the shirt that she got from, fr- uh, or no, uh, P- uh, uh, Bubblegum got the, the shirt from Marceline, yeah. where she's like, yes, she just sniffs it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And which kind of <laughs> implies that she, you know, that she likes her. And because uh, I think, like, in this current climate with, like, LGBT stuff, which is good to see, get a representation, but it's like, I want to see good writing, like, the Steven Adventure Universe. Time did it before Steven Universe. Yes, it did. <laughs> yes. But, like, it's, uh, it's like, in most, because if it's not good writing, it's just pandering then. And, and, and you're just kind of writing, tr- tr- writing the trends. So, PB and, and Marceline, I love it. I think it was satisfying to see it come full circle. For those who just get back into Adventure Time, they might go, "Oh, that's pandering," or they're they're just following the fans. Yeah, personally, but I- I- if you watch it like all the way through, you can see it. Yeah, because I got yeah. a chance to rewatch it from start to finish because it was you know, online and uh, on well, on Hulu or whatever. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was. It, I thought I thought it was fine personally. I thought it was fine. Okay, I got Thank my you. vampire girl and bubble gum. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Um, I haven't watched all of Adventure Time uh, because. I don't know who was uh, talking about it, but like the fluctuation between like the plot driven stuff and then like the crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I liked it for that reason, but then like when it got more into plot driven stuff, I was like, well, it's kind of getting. See, like, to each their own. Yeah. Uh, but aside from that, um, I had a question. Somebody said this earlier, or mentioned it earlier, but who do you think would be the best characters to take from Adventure Time to like make into a spinoff, Ooh. like later on? Like, what characters do you think? Would be best for a spinoff. Like I mean, Marceline I mean Bubblegum? yeah, Marceline and Bubblegum. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah. Didn't they you talk about that one time? When yeah, because like, because like, they're both like, basically immortal. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. B- Bemo deserves yeah. Oh yeah, Bemo. It's a <laughs> yeah. cinematic universe. Uh, <laughs> so, um, Marce- Marceline and Bubblegum, absolutely. Yeah. I'm yeah, more, boy. More that. <laughs> like how Bemo like survived everything. Was yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh hi. Um. So. 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 Um. So. So. Um. So. Um. Um. I started watching in the Adventure Time, like like when it started. Got to go do. But after a while, we did do it with the plot stuff. Like the the plot range schedule in high school. I I I I kind of just a lot of it. I I I didn't see the finale. Um. Oh, that's where I get coming from. So my good question is. I'm a what? I'm a what? What's your favorite song in, in, in Adventure Time? Favorite oh, song? Yeah. I forgot. Question. I, I forgot to mention that. That's a big part of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Rebecca I, Sugar wrote. A yeah, song. Rebecca Sugar wow. wrote like a lot of the music yeah. in Adventure Time. Yeah. She made Steven Universe. For those who don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. and uh, one of my fi- the funny thing is, is that um, actually I uh, I I watched the uh, the panel. Uh, the Comic Con panel yeah, before, before you that to me. yeah before the um, the finale came out and she did a uh, live version of Time Adventure from the finale and I actually like that version better than what was in the finale. I think you showed uh, it to me and you told me you got emotional. And yeah, and I like John DiMaggio is like right there and he's like he's like crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John yeah. DiMaggio is the voice of Jake and also Bender from Futurama. So we got five minutes left, uh, but uh, yeah, so. You told me to watch that, and I watched it, and even I got a little bit emotional. Yeah. It's kind of weird to see, like, because you see the end of a show like this, and you kind of see it as the end of your childhood. Yeah, Not yeah. the end of it, but, like, one of the, it's like, okay, see ya, you know, let's lay this to rest. So, um, yeah, I'm with you on that one. That song, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, Time Adventure. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Hello again. Hey. Okay. Um, so we were talking a little bit about Marceline and Bubblegum, so my question is, when Marceline's a little kid and Simon's looking for chicken noodle soup for her, right, and he puts mm-hmm. on the crown and calls her Gunter and everything, and the mother gum brings oh Marceline yeah. the soup, do you think that that was the mother gum, or do you think that was Princess Bubblegum? Like, do you think that well, was the beginning of their relationship? Uh, hey. That's the no. thing. That's a tough one. We're, we're not sure, like, exactly when Princess Bubblegum was, like, Came out of the mother, mother gum yeah. when she was sentient, yeah. I suppose, yeah. in a way. Hmm. Because I, I think Marceline is actually older than PB. Think so. Yeah. Because because Marceline was there before the mushroom war. Yeah. For those yeah. who don't know, the mushroom war was like a nuclear holocaust, and humanity got wiped mostly. Yeah. 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 It was like eight hundred something. So maybe yeah. it was like the mother. Yeah. So maybe it was Mother Gum then? 
Yeah. Had to be the sentience of Mother Gum, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. And do you guys have any theories on how that gum came to be after the apocalyptic, the mushroom war? In typical sci-fi fashion, probably <laughs> something to do here, right? Something like that was like know. radiation and mutation. What's that? She knows. Oh, yeah, candy. <laughs> it's just candy. Say, say on the microphone. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah candy, like... Candy, um, slime, fire, and ice. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. cool. There you go. Yeah, because like magic started to go away because like magic is like actually still a thing in, in which is in great because yeah. and, and the <laughs> they talk about they like wizards in the show and Bubblegum's a, a, a scientist and you have her saying like magic is just science we don't understand yet, yeah. which I'm like I like mm. that that's cool I I agree to that. Um, all right, you have any thank more? you. Uh, thank no, you. That's it. So wait, thank best. you for the questions. All right, this might be the last question for the panel. Fire away. All right. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks for answering my other question. I now know that uh, Adventure Time, regular show, uh, uh, We Bear Bears, OKKO, OK Let's Be Heroes, and The Amazing World of Gumball, and Steven Universe. Yeah, they're basically the 2010 Cartoon Network hexagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to that, I have to say what I should have said earlier, but I kind of forgot. What's up? Mathematical. Mathematical. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All awesome. Right. I think that's the way to put the panel. Yeah. All right. I was uh, I was uh, expecting a stronger reaction than that, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And with that, oh, we... Oh, no, no, wait. What time is it? Adventure time! Yeah, there that's we go. the official final question. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you all for joining us here at MomoCon on this wonderful Sunday. Thank you to Paleo for organizing the panel. Yeah. And you all have a wonderful day. See you all next time. Thank you.